Hi. I recently read Psalm 141 in my Bible devotional written by Nicky Gumbel. And he highlighted four things that I want to share with you for 2021. Uh, let's just read the psalm uh, together. If you have a Bible, Psalm 141, it's a psalm of David. He writes, O Lord, I call to you, come quickly to me. Hear my voice when I call to you. May my prayer be set before you like incense. May the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Let not my heart be drawn to what is evil, to take part in wicked deeds with men who are evildoers. Let me not eat of their delicacies. Let a righteous man strike me. It's a kindness. Let him rebuke me. It's oil on my head. My head will not refuse it. Yet my prayer is ever against the deeds of evildoers. Their rulers will be thrown down from cliffs and the wicked will learn that my words were well spoken. They will say as one plows and breaks up the earth, so our bones have been scattered at the mouth of the grave. But my eyes are fixed on you, O sovereign Lord. In you I take refuge. Do not give me over to death. Keep me from the snares they have laid for me, from the traps set by evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by in safety, writes David. Now, in this uh, psalm, uh, David is under threat from his enemies. And, you know, we ourselves, we have a spiritual enemy, don't we, who seeks to trap us and to lay snares for us. And that may come through temptation to sin and to disobey God or through uh, the deception and lies that he would have us believe about ourselves or those around us. So how do we avoid those traps and how can we make sure that our hearts are not drawn to what is evil? Well, we follow David's example in coming to God in prayer, making God our daily refuge and honoring God by offering our lives and our bodies to him as a living sacrifice. In fact, David mentions here four parts of his body, his hands, his mouth, his heart, and his eyes. And all four are important in our devotion to God. And so I want to encourage us all to be very mindful of these things in 2021. Right? Let's just take a quick look at them. First of all, lift our hands. He says, may the lifting of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. The lifting of our hands to God represents prayer. But it's more than that. It speaks of surrender, of us acknowledging our need for him. I, I don't know about you, I feel my need of God more than ever. And if you don't, you're vulnerable to the schemes of the enemy. So let's pray that in 2021, prayer and surrender will characterize our lives. Secondly, guard our lips. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord, says David. Let's pray that God will protect us from saying things that are unhelpful or that are hurtful, right? That we would listen more and that we would think before we speak and that our words will be an encouragement and a blessing. Thirdly, watch our hearts. David prays, let not my heart be drawn to what is evil. You may have heard it said that your thoughts become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your character and your character becomes your life. But it all starts in your heart. So let's pray our hearts will be drawn to God and that we would be filled with his love so that people would see the fruit of that in our lives. And then fourthly, fix our eyes. May my eyes be fixed on you, O sovereign Lord, says David. It says the same thing in Hebrews 12 too. Fix our eyes on Jesus, it says, the author and perfecter of our faith. So let's pray that our eyes will be focused on him throughout this new year. That will not allow the enemy to distract us or the world to worry us. You know, that will keep looking to Jesus. Amen. Hands, lips, heart, eyes. Lord, will you help us all in 2021? to be lifting our hands to you in prayer and worship. Lord, will you set a guard on our mouths and keep our hearts 
from evil. And may our eyes be continually on you, Lord, our great king, our great champion. You're the one who fights for us and who delivers us. It's in you that we take refuge today. Amen. Okay, God bless you all in this new year.